This show me is about solving a system of linear equations using graphing. So we have here a coordinate plane and two equations with two unknowns. We need to graph these. The easiest way to do this is to use our knowledge about linear equations in two variables in standard form. All we need to graph lines is two points. And the best two points to have at any time are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. We can get those quickly from these two equations using these formulas. The x-intercept is equal to c over a. The y-intercept is equal to c over b. And it's always useful to calculate the slope and make sure that we actually have two lines that will intersect. We do that using the slope formula, negative a over b. I might be asking, where do these a's, b's, and c's come from? Well, they're actually in the equations up here. There's a 1 here that we can't see. And this, is, this negative sign is actually representing a negative 1. All the coefficients above the letter a here could have the letter a. And all the coefficients above the letter b here could have could could be b and c is to be found over here on the other side of the equal sign so given this information we'll call this line 1 and this line 2 let's break it down so that we can graph these points so we make a little table down here with the information that we need to look at for line 1 the x-intercept is given to be c over a, which is 18 over 2, which is 9. That means that 9, 0 is a point on that line. For line 1, the y-intercept would be 18 over 3, which is 6. That means that 0, 6 is a point on that line. Finally, the slope for this line would be negative a over b which is negative 2 over 3. Again, we're only checking the slope because we want to make sure the lines will actually intersect. If the slopes turn out to be the same, we have parallel lines and there won't be an answer. For line 2, for the x-intercept, c is negative 1 and a is 1, so the x-intercept is negative 1. For the y-intercept, we have c over b, which is negative 1 over negative 1, which is positive 1. Finally, for the slope, we have negative a over b. Well, negative 1 over negative 1 is positive 1. These two lines do not have the same slope, so they will intersect somewhere. Okay, let's plot some points and graph some lines. For line 1, the x-intercept is 9, 0. That would be about there. The y-intercept is 0, 6. Let's see if we can put a line there. Well, that's obviously the best I can do. Now let's put another line in. This would be line 2. The x-intercept is negative 1, 0. And the y-intercept is 0, 1. And we'll try for another line. And there it is. Now, the solution to our system we would propose is the intersection of the two lines. And these two lines intersect, apparently, at the point 3, 4. One of the things to watch out for when you're using the graphing method is that you cannot trust your eyes. Sure, it looks like those two intersect at 3, 4. But the only proof is to demonstrate that it truly is a solution for each line. So for the first equation, take 2 times the x value, which is 3, plus 3 times the y value, which is 4. Well, that's 6 plus 12, which is 18. 
And that does match what we would like it to match. Now let's try again with the other point, the other line. We're going to take 3 minus 4. Well, that should be negative 1. And that also matches the desired result. So we do have a solution. And 3, 4 is it. Note that we don't always have to find a solution. I mentioned the possibility that the lines could be parallel. If the lines are parallel, they have the same slope, we call that an inconsistent system. So if the lines are parallel, that's inconsistent and there is no solution. Sometimes also the lines are the same line. If we find that that's the case, we call that a dependent system. And the case we're dealing with here, where the two lines simply intersect at a single point, we call that a consistent system.